what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump it seems that dr boyce watkins is getting into it again with somebody and then of course plays the victim dr boyce watkins has to be the most unliked or one of them on black social media i don't think anybody likes him so much because of the way Boyce Watkins behaves as an individual. He's just a very unlikable guy. Very, uh, I would say, phony in his behavior. And But the one thing I'll give Dr. Boyce credit for, Dr. Boyce Watkins is not married to, Demo the, to the Democrats. That's the one thing. He's, he's fair and balanced when it comes to this. This is one of the few things that he talks about that I think that many people can align with. But D.L. Hughley is not. In my honest opinion, he's from my home state of California. I love D.L. Hughley. He is an extreme liberal. And that is one of the reasons that, you know, I, I really don't see what uh, our brother D.L. Hughley sees with Democrats. But you notice that most of the black community don't, don't really come for D.L. Hughley um, and his political ideologies, even those who are opposed to him, because people like D.L. Hughley. We like the guy, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't agree with what the dude is saying, but we, we love D.L. Hughley. Most people like him, right? Um, as a comedian, we know he's passionate about the black community, but he is on that. He does have that Bidenitis, all right? So here's what happened the other day. Boyce Watkins is, you know, usually being him or himself, um, sticking his nose in other people's business, Okay. This may have been the straw that broke the camel's back, okay? Dr. Boyce Watkins puts up, someone asked me, is Trump or Biden better for the stock market? It's clearly Trump. This was shown by the bull market that occurred right after the assassination. The stock market reacts to the anticipation of the future based on current information. Once he got shot, the odds of his president grew enormously. Now, D.O. Hughley did not take kindly to Boyce Watkins, right? So to be honest this time, I, I, I'll be honest, I believe that D.O. Hughley started this, not Boyce, from what I can infer. So Boyce posts this about D.O. I don't hate D.O., but he needs to stop being a political operative. D.O. Hughley looks like he's, he, he messes him. You know, I can't effing stand you. Don't ever hit me again, P. And then he responds, you're doing all this corny-ish over Joe Biden. Please let go of his nuts, okay? So then Boyce Watkins also retweets this. Um, the DL just called me D-head and a clown, but he's a comedian, so that's technically what clowns do for a living. <laughs> I've never liked you and have an idea why why you would, you you punk ass on my page, clown. Maybe you're. And that says, tell me what D-head, what a senator from the state of Delaware had the power to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play what Boyce Watkins um, has said in response to this, and then we're going to come back. So uh, if you don't know the backstory, give me a yes if you saw any of the backstory. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. <laughs> I shared this surprising message I got from D.O. where he was really, really, really angry with me. And, uh, and I'll tell you, I'll give you all the whole story in terms of how it went down. And I promise you it has a bigger point. It's bigger than me. It's, it's bigger than him. It's really about us and how we as a community – are kind of taking th these elections too seriously sometimes, uh, getting into this crazy Crips and Bloods type stuff. So let me just start here. And normally, I don't. I'm not a guy that would share like personal DMs, but I don't. I don't know that. I, I just feel like this. It's necessary for this situation because I think that it makes a bigger point. So I get this message from uh, my brother uh, Terrain. Terrain. I don't have his last name. I think it's Terrain Walker. Uh, yeah, Terrain Walker. Very smart black man. And he literally just asked me. He says. He says uh, something like, why is D.L. crashing out on you over that decrepit old man? And I said, and then you can see my response, which is in blue. And I said, he's crashing out on me. I didn't see that. And so so Terrain, being the researcher that he is, he's a super smart guy. You should follow him on Twitter. If you like to follow smart black people and black people to really get it, I will follow Terrain. He's, he's one of those he's one of those guys. I hope I can bring him in here one day. And so he takes a screenshot of this stuff that D.L. was saying and and. It says, I never liked you and have, and have, yeah, I think he's saying, I have no idea. I'm going to fill in the blanks because I don't know if he was tweeting while drunk or what. I don't know what, because the grammar's all kind of, but anyway, he says, I've never liked you and have I no idea why you would bring your punk ass onto my page, clown. 
And uh, and at first I was like, well, maybe he's not talking to me. Maybe he's talking to somebody else because, you know, I'm not that important. He's D.O. Hughley. You got, you know, I don't I, I only have about, I have about 190,000 Twitter followers. That's not bad. But he's got like four times that. He's got like 800,000, 700 and something. Why are you, you know, I, why would he be replying to me? I didn't get it. And uh, and then I and now I'm literally right now, I kid you not, literally while I'm talking to you, I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, it says replying to Dr. Boyce Walk. OK, now I know it's me. OK, so they're, they're, that kills the ambiguity. And then there's the other part where he says, tell me kid, what a senator from the state of Delaware had the power to do. So I think that what surprised me was not that we disagreed. What surprised me was the amount of anger and vitriol with which he brought the disagreement. I mean, the amount of emotional energy. So guys, you've heard that. It is my estimation that D.L. Hughley believes that Boyce Watkins wanted to have some kind of friendship with him before. And maybe your boys tried to call him out. He's done this with Tyler Perry behind the scenes. You know, he'll meet somebody like, they, like he's their friend. And then he will, he will, you know, wait idly by and he will say something that we don't know about and come back and play the victim. Clearly, D.L. Hughley must feel some way about something that Boyce did that he's not discussing. Although it appears that D.L. Hughley uh, attacked him first in some way. I'm not sure. But obviously I can say Boyce Watkins is not a likable person and many people feel like he's not a good person. Remember what happened with the Jay Morris and Tulsa Real Estate Fund. Boyce Watkins has given every reason why people should not like or trust him. Okay? Even though D.L. Hughley, I don't agree with him politically, I can agree that Boyce Watkins is not that cool. I'm just going to be real. You know, we're going to just be honest for what it is. Boyce likes to play the victim all the time. Okay? And there's something that maybe we don't know from Brother D.L. Hughley's point of view. Because this is not really D.L. Hughley's character to just start hating people for no reason. No, Boyson did some fake stuff behind the scenes, and we don't know about what fake stuff he did. But hopefully, D.L. Hughley on his radio show can give clarity to why he feel that way about Boyce Watkins. Because Boyce Watkins is acting like, oh, I don't know. The same thing he did with the Tulsa Real Estate Fund. Well, I don't, I don't know what happened. And I, 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 that was like thirteen million dollars. So if that was thirteen million dollars, and boys can do that, what else will boys do? What else will he not do? And this is why you can't really trust what he's saying. It does seem like he's not as wrong from from his point of view this time around. But that cannot be guaranteed, Dylan with Boyce Watkins. I would not trust him. So guys, what do you think of your boy Elsie Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do, Sir the Bell. We're out.